Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Laurie Ann Tika Lemba, and she knows exactly why the Shakespeare is hip. Uh, hop? Hi, I'm Laurie Ann of the Hip Hop Shakespeare Company, and today I'm going to show you how to rap Shakespeare. Nay, but make haste. Two households both alike in dignity, in Verona where we lay our scene. Put your hand on your heart. You should feel your heartbeat in sets of two. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Yes, I'm alive. This rhythm is similar to the rhythmic speech that a lot of hip-hop artists use, but it's also similar to the rhythm that Shakespeare used in a lot of his plays. Shakespeare uses the didum rhythm five times in each line. The posh name for that is iambic pentameter. Now that makes Shakespeare really easy to rap. This I've got to see. Two households both alike in dignity in Verona where we lay our seat. First, pick a play. It might be one you're doing at school. I've picked Romeo and Juliet as it's one of my favourites. Next, you need to pick a section of the play. It needs to be written in verse. You can tell it's written in verse when each line starts with a capital letter, like this. Ah, I didn't know that. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. Then you need to find a hip-hop beat or create your own. This is the one I'm going to be using. Before the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair star-crossed lovers take their lives. Finally, all you need to do is make your words fit into the hip-hop beat. But don't worry, practice makes perfect. Two's misadventures, piteous overthrows, doff with their death, bury their parents' strife. Nice one, Lorianne. And now a recap. First, pick a play. Next, pick a section that's in verse. Find a hip-hop beat. And finally, put the words to the beats. And that's how you rap Shakespeare.